Hi everyone, uh, I know a lot of you guys are waiting for a metal detecting video. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to detect lately. I do have some finds, but not enough uh, to make a video yet. So I decided to make a video about how to restore a World War II M1 helmet or convert a uh, post-war M1 helmet to a World War II M1 helmet. So basically convert a post-war soldier to a World War II soldier. So as you can see right here, <laughs> I got a lot of post-war M1 helmets. I even got more downstairs. I'm not kidding, it's really true. Um, so I got way too much helmets actually. But why not convert them to World War II looking M1 helmets? Looks a lot cooler. So that's what we're gonna do. Time for some action. Let's do this. Hurrah! Alright, so this right here is a post-war Belgian M1 helmet. Um, as you can see, there was a Belgian decal right there. I've uh, already uh, removed it, and right here we can see um, on the inside right there. I've made it look like a front seam, because it's actually a rear seam. All you need for that is this, just and you're done. So we're gonna try to make this helmet look like a US World War II and one helmet, and right here. I've applied this years ago just for fun. Yeah, let's see what we can do. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of this right here. So we're just going to use some sandpaper or steel wool. I'm doing the whole rim right here because uh, I really want to see that stainless steel color. And of course, we move this decal as well. Ah, oh, that's fine. Actually, it looks pretty cool right now. All right, I think that's enough. Yeah, feels pretty good. It's a uh, very thick layer of green paint right there, so it's very hard to remove it. But uh, this will do. All right, so now we need some cork, and I have a lot of it right here from uh, one of my snake enclosures. All right, so here we have some cork, and now we're just gonna do this. Be sure to get rid of the, the big pieces. Well, I think uh, we have enough cork right now. Look at this, looks like uh, space footage right now from NASA. This is Houston, say again, please. Oh, uh, Houston, we've had a problem. But yeah, I think uh, this is all right. All right, so of course, right now it started raining, but we're lucky we got this. All right, so for this, we're gonna use Army Paint Industrial Color Olive Trap from Fosco. All right. I'm gonna hold the helmet like this. There's wind. Makes it pretty hard. Just gonna do it like that. Okay. It's flying away. We don't want that. Man, have to do it from the other side, I guess. All right, so the wind is coming from that direction. So I have to do it from this side. Yep, you see? Now the wind is coming from that side. Not too much on the same spot though. Now it's coming from that side again. Now we're gonna do the back. Starts to look pretty nice. Now the wind is coming from that side again. Oh, we just had to turn again because of the wind. Yeah, 
that's the best way to do it. Just like this, and then, yeah. Okay. On the back. All right, now we're gonna let this dry. All right, so the other helmet is drying right now. I have another uh, helmet right here, Postwar. I've done this myself, actually looks pretty old, but um, it looks cooler with uh, some cork, so we're gonna do this helmet as well. Also made some new cork. All right, so the camera just stopped recording without a reason. Probably some kind of error or something. Is it really that boring? But yeah, we're almost done. Just a little more here. And I don't want to overdo. Right here, some more. It's really fun to do this. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah, pretty sure it is. All right, so we also have an original British World War II turtle helmet right here. Um, still has the original uh, texture, as you can see, but it was painted post-war in black. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this liner and we're also gonna spray this one. All right, let's just start with the inside. Be careful with the chin strap. I'm glad I bought two of these. All right, so the inside is done, as you can see. Now we're gonna do the outside. It'll be very quick. Boom. Don't forget to spray the screw as well. So we're just gonna do that very quick. Done. Now the outside of the helmet. All right, we're done. Looks very, very nice. Of course, still has to dry. Um, I don't know where because it's raining right now still. I'm actually using the tripod of the camera right now for a, a helmet, you see? <laughs> it works. And right here is the other one. And the other one is inside. And I got another one right here. And the battery is actually dying as well. All right, so it's really getting dark right now. So I'm just gonna take this helmet. I'm gonna run over there. Whoops, the gate just closed by the wind. So they want to make it hard for me. I don't want raindrops on the fresh paint, so I have to run. All right, so the gate was really working against me because both locks were closed by the wind. I managed to get the helmets inside. They're drying right now. We're gonna do the insides tomorrow, but I do wanna spray this one only on the outside. There's some kind of texture already, as you can see. Uh, that's actually sand from Omaha Beach. I was in Normandy years ago, and I actually used sand from Omaha Beach to paint this helmet, which is actually pretty cool. But right now, we're gonna use some cork as well. So, looks like we actually had enough inside to do the whole helmet. That's nice. It's very, very cool. I just can't wait until it's dry. Maybe a little bit more right there. Ooh, almost nothing left. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Uh, yeah. 
That's okay. All right, I think we're done. Yeah, pretty sure. So now I need to run again with this helmet and take all the stuff and find a safe spot for these helmets to dry. But as you can see, it looks pretty awesome already. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, they're all drying right now. Here we get the three and one helmets. You like it? Here you can see the cork all over the helmet. So I'm gonna turn this off, it's getting very hot in here. And of course, when it's completely dry, I'm gonna rub some of this off because it's a lot right now. And it's a lot of fun to do too. And of course, we still have to do the insides, but we're gonna do that tomorrow. And by the way, this is the cork uh, where I was talking about. No, no, I'm not gonna steal your cork. Time to go back inside. No. All right, so they're pretty dry right now. I'm just doing this. It starts to look very, very cool. Just take all the big pieces off and later respray if necessary. All right, so the insides of the helmets are sprayed now as well. I've done that yesterday, but I didn't film it because it looks the same as spraying the outside and I did not want it to be a boring video. And I've actually also sprayed the outsides of the helmets again because if you clean it like this after spraying the helmet, some cork will come off and you have to spray it again. But as you can see, they look very, very nice right now. I'm gonna give you a close up on the cork right here. Yep, that looks very, very nice. And of course you can use more cork or less, whatever you want. But I think this looks very, very good. Right here we have the British World War II turtle helmet. So I'm just gonna talk like this right now. Actually, it looks very, very nice. That is a original World War II British turtle helmet. And look at the color right there. That is fantastic, mate. I couldn't resist. Sorry, guys. I think it looks, whoops. I think it looks pretty nice. It's definitely better than the post-war black paint. So that's awesome. Already have some chipping right there, but yeah, stuff like that happens. We don't care. Of course, uh, we can also buy the correct World War II chin straps, but um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool like this. These are post-war liners. Right now, they of course look brand new, um, so if you want them to look like really worn helmets, you can um, use a little sandpaper for the edges right there, so you can get that uh, stainless steel color. Looks very cool. I always liked that with the early uh, M1 helmets because uh, the green paint didn't really hold well on the uh, stainless steel rims, so it chipped off very easily. And that's very cool to see with the original helmets, a stainless steel rim and then the green paint. But yeah, if uh, we're gonna use uh, this for a reenactment or something, it will chip off. I'm gonna show you the inside. There you can see, beautiful color. Actually, also sprayed this liner. Already got scratches on it. Here we have the other one. A little less cork on this one. This looks very nice. Post war liner and a fake front seam because you can actually see there is a rear seam. But it looks pretty cool. And I put a camouflage net on this one. They always look awesome with these camouflage nets. Leather chin strap. And of course, a post-war liner. Yep, I really like the way they look right now. And I got maybe 20 more of these helmets. So if I have nothing to do, then I can spray some more helmets. All right, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.